And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Rogue Legacy. We are back after Sir Teddy the Determined Hokaji died. And we'll try something else. This time, I guess we can go with the uh, Barbarian King again. Yeah. Let's try it. Don't have a lot of money. Might be enough to buy something. Nothing great, to be sure. And not enough to get the uh, weight carrying upgrade that I actually need. And nothing of that I can buy. So expensive. Uh, yeah, I'm screwed. Yeah, no. I'm gonna waste it all again. Too bad. Here you go, Sharon. Well, 90% of it is wasted, as always, now. I would like to get uh, another upgrade to my uh, haggling, but it's very expensive. Okay, here we go. Not haunted, that is good for a painting. Because it means I may actually survive a little while. Ooh. Okay, that is worrying. Yeah, great. Whoa! I really hate chair rides. They are kind of unpredictable, I feel. In their movement. Although maybe I'm just bad at it. That's more likely. They have such a... Like, like a chase algorithm. That's actually not that hard to predict, probably. But I'm just bad at it. Okay, there's some money. Not haunted either. Ow. I could have seen that coming. Damn it. Alright. Let's get out of here. Too many traps that cannot be destroyed. Which means that the room will remain dangerous even once we've made it past it. Oh. Try that. Okay, that's better. Not haunted. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I guess we, if I can make it through here and collect some money, we might actually want to uh, go to the forest soon. Because I am getting to level 30. And apparently, at least according to the enemy levels, that's about the right level to go there. At least it looked like it. I mean, uh, I may be misremembering, but it seems that the forest is about level 30 and the Maya is about level 35. So I guess yeah, the forest is probably our next destination after all this. I just wish I had more vampirism. That would really help. Take no damage. Great. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, of course. Oh, thank you. At least there are no spikes down here. But getting out of here will still be annoying as hell. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know how to do this yet. And that is a problem because it becomes all the more expected of you to be able to do this, apparently. Ah! All the way back down. Whew! Out of here. Eh, haunted painting, I see you there. You come over here. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, here's the forest, actually. Okay, we are gonna go to the forest momentarily. I just want to clear up this particular room beforehand. And we're gonna try and survive there somehow. There's still a lot of furniture here that I can destroy, so... Oh. No! You jerk. And another one. Oh, it's critical hit and it didn't even kill it. I call crap on that. 
I guess we can enter the forest from up here too. Okay, let's go to the left before we go though. Ah, that's a good one. So apparently this is the Maya. Yeah, it is. But we're gonna go to the forest instead. Okay. Oh, I hate those skulls. Oh, they only fire one cross. That's not so bad. I'm an idiot. Keep getting hit like that. I can avoid that, I hope. Yeah, I can avoid that, actually. <laughs> and then I still get hit anyway. I'm bad. I'm bad. Get up here, stupid fire thing. What is that in the background there? That's a guy. See that guy? That was weird. Oh god. Ha! I broke a lantern. That's great. Their center? What the hell? Okay then. That clears things up. Gallant. Well, that's something. But I didn't get a lot of money. Uh, I guess we can go with the Spelunker. Sir Hero! That must be a heroic guy, right? Okay, I do have some money. Can I get the upgrade? No. Can I get a different upgrade? 430... something? Anything, pretty much? 420. Well, I don't really use mana that much, but it's better than nothing? Guess we got to upgrade it now. Not what I wanted. Gotta go! Let's try and make our way to the forest again, because I think there might be better drops there too. I mean, more money and all that. Oh. Well, that's a lot of food that I didn't need. Okay, let's get to that chest somehow. Oh, that's a lot of these idiots. No, I tried to get down there. Ah, damn it. Okay. That kind of worked. So, yeah, I think I was like right here. Like, yeah, at, at this point I cannot drop down. I would have had to be a wee bit further to the left to save myself from taking that damage. But I guess it's not that much anyway. Especially considering I'm gonna take a lot more damage before this is all over. Okay. That's okay, I guess. Uh, now, where's that chest? I think it's below. Yeah, it's below us. And something is above us, too, so let's. Uh, ah! No, thank you! The weird thing is, the enemies here are not that high a level. So I'm a oh. But I still get wrecked by them, so am I just bad or... Uh, like, am I supposed to be able to deal with uh, mini-boss skeleton creatures? Or is it okay that I kinda can't? I don't quite know. I mean, this guy was level 2, this flame lock, and he still managed to hurt me quite significantly. Guess I need more health or something. But well, that also needs more, uh, more gold first. I'm not gonna break that one barrel. It's too risky. Okay, so we're not going up to the skeletons. No, thank you. Ah, go away, spiky ball. Thank you. And let's head up. No. Let's head up here. Where well, you can get to that chest the other way. Okay, we got some rockets. Not wanted. Mana I didn't use. Great. Guess I can use some mana here before it despawns. Ow. Yeah, why not? It's not like I'm gonna use it anyway. Huh, I can't even hit. That's the problem, really. Let's use our sword instead. It's a bit more reliable, I would say. 
Alright. I don't quite know what to say, I mean... According to the levels... That the enemies have in this area... I should be able to breeze through this, but I just can't. Oh god. Oh god. That works. Okay, I can't really complain about that. That actually worked out nicely. And it's not like I'm gonna use much of this mana anyway, uh, and I'll regenerate it slowly with potions, I guess. So that's good. Spiky ball is not good, though. Ah, jerk! Hidden zombies are my bane now. Uh huh. I don't like these spikes there, that's a problem. Ah, so many skeletons. That is just awful. You die now, again. Okay. Here we go, that's all right. I'm not doing great, but I'm not doing too badly. Yeah, let's keep going. I'm actually level 30 now, I can't quite believe it. I'm supposed to be awesome by now, but I'm not. Ow! Oh! Uh. So Hero did gain a lot of gold, but he didn't even make it to the forest this time. Alright, we are gonna upgrade uh, our carrying weight, I think, so... Let's... Nearsighted is bad. Let's go with the giant barbarian queen, Lady Blair, and upgrade our carrying weight. There we go. And I still need more money to actually buy the capes, or do I have some of them? Oh, hold on. Aha! So I lose health, but I gain vampirism. Okay, let's see how this works. I mean, if I uh, if I gain plus one vampirism, does that mean that I do gain one more health per enemy, or is vampirism per enemy you hit? I guess we'll find out. Because that rune of blood is only on kills, right? Not on hits. We'll see. We're not gonna see it here. Oh god. What a room. I think we made that okay. Not exactly how we're supposed to do it, but it works. Yeah, don't get any... I don't get any health just from hitting them. But, the good news is, vampirism heals too, just like the rune does. So now we heal 4 health per enemy kill. This might spiral out of control quite quickly, because if I can get quick enough health regeneration, then uh, my longevity should be really awesome at some point. I don't even need that much food, but it's okay. Right, I have a good feeling about this now, because with two in vampirism, we should be alright. If I could get an Hokaji now, that would be awesome. Ah, don't do that. Flame lock. I want your money, I don't want your life. I guess now I have both. And more health I don't need. Okay, this is a big one. Okay, I shouldn't have jumped down here, I guess. Although that worked. That's a lot of gold. We're already making great progress, I would say. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, Mr. Gold. Crap. Also, I yes, I saw that. There's a passageway for a dwarf here, but... Well, I'm quite the opposite this time around. Ah. Stupid haunted painting, I see you there. Aha, I got you. Uh-oh. The good thing about being a giant too is that not only are you bigger, your sword is bigger too, so you can reach 
through thicker walls with your sword. Yeah. Oh, this is working great. Lots of money. And lots of chests too. I mean, look at this map. Three rooms all had chests in them. Lucky run so far. Let's hope it keeps up. I'd like to gain a lot of money together. Maybe get some of the uh, more expensive upgrades like gold gain or something. Oh. Ow, I tried to kill you there. That wasn't nice. That's better. Was there anything else up there? I don't think so. Just leave. You know, I could get used to this kind of health regeneration. It's awesome. Obviously, this wouldn't help as much against bosses because uh, we only get health back from killing something, not from uh, hitting it. So bosses would be very difficult with a setup like this. But against normal enemies, this is awesome. Also, yes, I do see these pictures. Probably both of them haunted. No, actually not. Just one of them. That's all right. Kind of a bad spot to put yourself if you're a haunted painting. Because uh, it immediately makes you suspicious when there are two paintings on top of each other. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm bigger than you. Haha. -ha. What's her name exactly? Uh, Lady Blair the Third. Yes, Lady Blair is not messed with. She'll mess you up instead with her giant sword. All right. I hope she lives long because uh, she has promise. Yeah? I don't think so. Ow. It was stupid of me. But it's all right. We still have a nice cushion of of health and we can regenerate it. And here's again. I'm not a dwarf. Damn it. Well, although to be fair, I don't know if I could have made it this far as a dwarf even. Oh. <laughs> Must be because of the gigantism that everything kind of rocked there for a moment. Ow. This is really precision jumping here. I'm not good at that, to be fair. The Maya. I guess we can pray at least. Ooh. If I remember correctly, that actually gives us an extra life. So if we die, it won't be that bad because we can come back. But when not, oh God. Well, we're not gonna go there. I want to go to the forest instead. This is too dangerous for me, I think. The, uh... Okay, that only goes upward. Can I go downward? No. Holding downwards while pressing the spell doesn't do anything. Okay. That was a bit close, but it worked in the end. Okay. Is that the teleporter to the forest? It is! Okay. And there is a chest there. And up there too. Okay, that's great. Just be careful of all the spikes though. Whoa, what the? What's that green stuff? I'm not a fan of that. Probably some sort of plant enemy or something. Okay. Well, it doesn't fire if we're too far down, so okay, getting up there will be a bit tricky. Yeah, it is a plant. Like those things from uh, Super Mario World, actually. This fury isn't very furious, actually. Not too worried about it. Okay. This I am worried about, though. Okay. That works, too. Somehow. Whoa, look at all the riches we have. And she isn't even a Spelunker. Also, do you see that? That there? 
Looks like another passage for a dwarf. There are a lot of these passages. I gotta be a dwarf more often and there's this guy again in the background. This forest is very weird. Also, the forest is in a cave apparently. Right, ugh. Floating rocks too. And a freaking... Blaze lock. That's, maybe it's wasteful, but I don't really need all this much mani mana anyway. Okay, let's not get overconfident here because I'm still very vulnerable. Thus, so far, the uh, forest is not that bad. Also, the creatures here are not even that high a level, they're just level 19. I thought there were more like 30 in the forest. Well, maybe that was just one particular enemy that I encountered when I came here earlier. I don't know. It's weird. I really gotta learn how to do these platforming puzzles because I suck at them. Alright, so there's nothing up here. could go down or I could try to get over here. Oh, there's a bird. This moon is also weirding me out. A warg. I'm not worried. What the hell? Is that like a sorcerer? Yeah. Ow. Okay, now I'm in trouble here. Uh, let's get out of here. Another boss. I'm not gonna face it because I'm gonna die. And in fact, I have so much money now. I think I'm gonna leave for a little while. I'll go back to the... Uh, to the castle. There's Santa also, of course. I'll go back to the castle and try to heal myself a little bit. Oh, that's crap. No, no, no. We're not gonna take this teleporter. Even if it's the uh, quicker way to get anywhere, it's the more dangerous one. So we're gonna take this teleporter and try to get there from this side. Still some more stuff to explore down here, I mean. Yeah, let's go downward. I still have Hyperion's ring, so I don't have to be that worried about dying, but... Yeah. Also, I'm not gonna pray here yet, because I still have the, the ring, right? So, I don't want to override that. I actually have a good thing going here for the moment. Okay, this is not that good. That's yeah, okay. Now where's the passageway downward? There we go. Oh. Oh no, I can't get into cover like this. You know, I might actually die here after all. Yep, very, very easily possible for me to die here. Well, the food will help. I don't know how I hit that thing. I think I... maybe with the overhead swing or something. That didn't really make much sense, but it's okay. Alright, still gaining some gold, but I need to be more careful with my health, actually. No, 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 I'm freaking dying here. This is not a good way to go. It's not a good setup for me. I'm too big to avoid a lot of these things. It's down here. Whoa. Okay. Is that... That's a... A trap again, isn't it? Very probably is uh, that huge painting. Yep, it is. Boom. Oh. No, it regenerates health, so no thank you. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of a hit and run tactic here, I think. Um, or maybe not. That actually worked. I'm kind of surprised. I think I think I still lost more health than I gained, but I actually killed a lot of enemies there. Right. Whew. Come on, give me health somewhere. Some barrel or something. I need food. Okay, there's another big guy. A fire guy, rather. Not that big. Yes, we are gaining a lot of money here. Have to see what I do with it. I mean, I do want uh, some of the uh, 
blood upgrades, but on the other hand, I don't think I ever had this much money in one run before. So I'm kind of conflicted there. There doesn't seem to be anything else up here. Oh, get out of the way. Okay, going down, I suppose. Whoa! <clears throat> yeah, you die. That is good, all things considered. Oh, stupid skeleton creatures. Okay, spiky ball is away. And one skeleton dude is dead. <laughs> I can't quite believe how well we are faring right now. Okay, I should shut up. Because that was stupid of me. Okay, two zombies. Can we, like, herd them in one direction? Come here? Yeah. That's good. And now let's get down there. And attack him at the same time. Haha. <laughs> I is smart. S-M-R-T. Okay. Uh, plenty of ways to go, actually. Not haunted. Food, that is good. I honestly don't know whether I want to face, say, not the boss in the forest, but maybe the boss in the castle. Ah, damn you. Actually, now I don't want to face anything because I got hit twice. And that's too much. Yeah, that was horrible. Hmm. Okay, one thing is dead. That is good. You kind of got to leave the room sometimes just to reset the enemies that are still there while uh, allowing you... Ow. Ah, damn it. While allowing you to reduce their numbers slowly. That is a lot of gold. And I'm greedy, of course, so this is gonna be my downfall at some point. Where's the ball? Here it comes. Aha, food. Good. I'm not doing great in terms of health, but I'm... I mean, I can hold on, sort of. So that's not too bad. And all these statues are certainly generous with their money. I wouldn't be happy if there was more food around there. Okay, I do know what this means. This must be the land of darkness. And it is, and I'm not staying there. Thank you. What's up here? Aha, the boss of the castle. Well, that is an interesting proposition right about now. But I am not doing that great. I guess I'd rather keep getting more money. Because that's what really counts. Oh, you evil Sansa. And look that the dwarf could just go through here and then drop down there. Ugh. Too risky. I'm gonna get hit and I don't have that much health to spare. Instead, we're gonna teleport back to the forest, I think. And try to explore some more of that area. Because we actually went to, well, almost all of the castle's rooms. There are some down here, like these two unchecked doors there, but... Actually... Uh, I don't know. It's a difficult decision. I think we're gonna try and uh, check some more of these forest areas. Another chest for the dwarf. That I cannot get to. This is just trapped. So there's not much here for me. I think this was the awful room where I got hurt so much, so we're not gonna stay here. Oh, but this was also not very easy to get across, eh? Ah, it worked. No fighting. Okay, I can probably do that. Just gotta watch these fireballs carefully. Okay, 
can't stay on that level. Now I just gotta make it out somehow. Okay. I'm alive, sort of. Oh! Get out of here. Oh no, I'm stupid. Oh no, I'm stupid! Okay, I am gonna clear out this room because uh, I do want to gain some health back and even though I got hit a lot there, such turrets are actually a good idea, I think, to regenerate health on because they are so predictable, at least compared to a lot of other enemies. There we go. Yeah, Planky is dead. We got this room cleared out, believe it or not. Okay, yeah, I think uh, her lifespan is shortening drastically now. But she may still have some life in her. Warg. Stupid scythes. Oh, thank you. And I even get credit for that. I got health back for that. Well. Skeleton Archer, eh? Whoa! Ow! Oh, that was painful. But we got the ring, remember? Die! These wargs are kind of stupid, aren't they? That is good. Defeat all enemies. Okay, can do, I hope. We got a rune, we got tons of money. This was a good run so far. I cannot destroy the spiky ball, but... Oh. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Die, you stupid... Earth creatures! The wrath is actually a big problem. And I'm... Ay, ay, ay. But look at the roster of enemies killed. She did good. Let's see. Divine. Amazing. Uh, we can actually spend some money now. Let's go with the Hokaji. Clumsy and... Owl Syndrome. Okay. Right, now we really gotta think hard. I think I do want to get... Some very expensive stuff like haggling. And the gold increase would be nice. Let's haggle. And get the gold increase. There we go. And I hope this applies to all characters, not just to the uh, Spelunker. And we should still have enough money to uh, get the... Vampiric sword, I think. Hey, I could do that. Or the chest plate. Oh, I can't actually wear that though, it's too heavy. Can I wear this? No, it's also too heavy. I would need to upgrade my weight carrying capability yet again. Which sucks. Can't I like at least equip... Well, I already got that one, right. Let's see what we what else we can buy. Cannot equip that. Too expensive. What is this? Curse. Harder enemies but greater rewards. Oh, I need harder enemies because I'm doing so well. Enemies are harder. I couldn't even buy it even if I wanted to, but okay. I could buy some of the items that I don't really need, the redundant items. I could buy the sword already. I would have it later. I could buy the uh, chest plate, which would have less armor, but obviously the uh, health benefit. Huh. What else can we get? Actually, I should probably also upgrade my health uh, abilities because 
All these vampiric items actually cost a lot of health. And I'll upgrade the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I need to. Because I kind of have to pay for the vampiric items with health, not just with weight. So let's... Let's get the health. I do need more health. Now I don't have much money left, but at least we're gonna keep 20% now. Yeah. Of what we have. And we should gain 11 coins per coin, however little sense that may make. Let's see. Now Hokaji with vampirism, that should be interesting. Right, I'm clumsy, I don't even need to do this. Yeah, 11. So it doesn't just apply to the Spilanka, that is good. That, of course, is not so good, because uh, these spikes are... Well, I kind of don't have anything to stand on sometimes. Ow. What? What? I cannot stand on the, uh, on the cupboard either. Okay, this is a problem. I cannot stand on... Yeah, look at this. I didn't know this. So, when you're clumsy, you can't... You're not just breaking all the stuff like so but you're also forbidden from standing on cupboards that is a problem i don't like that trait anymore okay so this might actually be over really soon yeah oh yeah very soon that was pathetic well, that's how it goes, and we learned something new about that particular trade too, and we got some nice upgrades. So, next time, hopefully, we will have uh, as much success as we did this time. See you then, folks. Bye!